I guess whatever it was, I let it go. Oh, no, we got him. Oh, we got a little shark. Oh my God. What the hell? We got a little bull shark. Oh my God. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the channel. We're going to go out and do some uh, fishing today. I'm going to be throwing some, um, some live bait down on the bottom. Whatever I can catch on my cast net. I got some, uh, I got some big, huge uh, shad that I also am going to throw on the bottom for maybe some garfish or something like that. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do live bait on one line and and uh, and frozen uh, dead bait that I'm gonna be bringing on the other line. That way we kind of mix it up a little bit, see what they're biting on today. I'm gonna bring some bait because every once in a while I don't catch any bait. I go all the way out there for nothing, and then I gotta go all the way back into town to go buy some bait or something. So I'm gonna bring some frozen bait today, and now I'm also gonna uh, gonna be using whatever I catch in my cast net. So it's gonna be awesome. Anyways, let's get out there. Let's go catch some fish. I just caught a uh, big, uh, uh, I forgot the name of them, Gasper Goo, maybe? Yeah, just caught a big old Gasper Goo in my net over here feeding on them shrimp. Look at them sucker. All right, let's get him back in. See you later, buddy. Caught a big old uh, piggy perch. That'll be good bait. Pretty good size one. All right. I think we got enough bait to mess around. All right, so the first one, I went ahead and put this big old piggy perch on there. I stuck him right through the back. And I'm gonna chunk it out here, right, right in the middle of the current, right in the middle of all this, uh, all this going on right here. See if maybe we can catch a uh, redfish or a big drum or something like that. All right, we got our drag loose. Got that one out. All right, so I decided we're going to go for a huge gar fish, and I put this big old huge shad on there. I'm going to throw it off over here to the left and uh, just let it sit. Just like that. And then we're gonna put on a, uh, we're gonna put a set up on my, on my little small rod and we'll, we'll play with the shrimp here. And I'll, I'll get back with y'all in a minute. Oh yeah. We got a good head on this one right now. I don't know if it's a garfish or what. Definitely swimming around with it. I guess whatever it was, I let it go. Oh no, we got him. Oh, we got a little shark. Oh my god. What the hell? We got a little bull shark, oh my god. Or black tip. Oh shit. Fucking awesome. Oh yeah. Check him out. That might be a black tip, I can't tell. It's 
probably a bull shark because I've been hearing that they've been catching them over here. Holy shit, but I don't want to scream too loud because there's a guy fishing right down in front of me. But check him out. Oh my god, that's awesome. I'm gonna get a good picture of him here in a second. Let me uh let me get the tripod set up and we'll get a better uh, get y'all some better angles. Oh yeah, baby, check that out. A little small bull shark. It is a bull shark, I'm pretty sure. I don't think that's a uh a black tip because he don't got the black tips he just uh, got the black uh, fins on it oh yeah that's awesome all right let's get a good release on him whenever you're ready buddy you go ahead and take off there you go thank you so much that was fun other way buddy there you go now you got it Hell yeah. Now that was awesome. I hadn't caught a bull shark in a long time. It's been uh, been a couple of years since I caught a bull shark. And he, the last one I caught was pretty uh, pretty big compared to this one. And he didn't even bite very hard. Like, he didn't even take any drag or anything. I expected him to be a lot sh stronger than that. Maybe it's the black tips that get real crazy when, when they get hooked up. But uh, I didn't even know that it was that kind of a fish. I thought it was something else. I thought it was a crab, big crab or something like that until I get him up to the water. <laughs> it ended up being ended up being a shark that was awesome anyways let's get back to it so we ended up catching that shark on a big live uh um piggy perch but I'll, i don't have any more live bait so we're gonna go with this this big uh this big shad right here uh i've been having them in the freezer for several months so i don't know if it's gonna stay on the line very good or if it's gonna be a very good lure uh good bait or not but we're gonna give it a shot I might go try to catch some more live bait here in a little bit. But let's see if we can catch some more sharks. That was awesome. Thank y'all so much for watching. That was actually an awesome trip. I can't believe that we caught a bull shark. Um, I had heard a, a few weeks back that they were in Rutherford Beach, which is about an hour away from where I, I just caught that uh, shark at. So I didn't expect the sharks to be that far up uh, in, in, in shore because... Um, that's a long ways from where where they were. They, they, I've been hearing about them on the beaches, but I didn't expect to catch one way up that far. That was absolutely awesome. I can't believe it. I did catch a, a couple of small hardheads, but I don't feel like really putting those in the video because no one wants to see me catch a little small hardhead anyways. Uh, anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Join the Cajun family. Give the video a thumbs up while you're at it. Until next time, everyone, we will see y'all in the next video. Tight lines.